Looking for a great gadget? Our selection of the latest gadget reviews will help you find the ideal drones, GPS devices, toys and more. Also the latest reviews on laptop, mobile phone reviews, tablets, cameras and other gadgets reviews. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. 6 of the best iPhone speaker docks. Charge your device and listen to Drake at the same time. Years have passed since iPhone speaker docks were in the spotlight. These days they're barely even the equivalent of a Z-list celeb who might turn up on a reality TV show where contestants are forced to eat insects. Not everyone likes to stream their music, though. And if that's you, there are still several iPhone speaker units with wired lightning dock ports to keep you happy. Some are from big names like Bowers and Wilkins and Pure. Others are made by companies you may not have encountered before. But all are worth a look if you're not ready to go full wireless just yet. Note, we've ranked these from cheapest to most expensive according to prices at time of video. Kit Sound X Dock 4 Plus. If you want a dock for your bedroom rather than one that needs to act as your main music player, the Kit Sound X Dock 4 Plus is worth a look. It'll sit happily on a small bedside table and charge your phone to stop you needing to find the lightning cable that seems to disappear under your bed each evening. The Kit Sound X Dock 4 Plus has small 3W speakers so isn't going to make the wall shake, but that's not the point. It has a big, clear clock display, acts as an alarm clock and doesn't cost too much. There's also Bluetooth for tunes while your iPhone is in your pocket. Bear in mind the radio side of this lightning socket clock radio is limited, though, with just FM, no dab. I want it IBTLIA17. Here's one for who live in the UK. The I want it IBTLIA17 isn't subtle or immensely refined, but it does get you a lot of speaker for not too much money. Like the iPhone speaker docks of old, this is a large block of a unit with relatively big drivers. There are mid-treble drivers to each side and a dedicated subwoofer in the center with two base ports. If you're out for room filling base on a budget, the IBTLIA17 should be on your list. There's a remote control in the box, but the speaker also has direct control buttons on the top plate by the lighting dock. As you'd hope in a recent docking model, there's also Bluetooth for wireless streaming from non-iPhone mobiles. Pure Contour D1 Dock Pure has tried to make sure the Contour D1 suits every iPhone owner. It even comes with a 30-pin adapter as well as a lightning one, to fit in the dock tray. This lets you attach your ancient iPhone or iPod Classic, if your house hasn't upgraded to modern age iPhones. The dock pushes back into the main speaker unit when not in use, when you're using the mini jack around the rear, or Bluetooth connectivity, for instance. You can also wirelessly stream to the D1. But, like most pure gear, radio is still a key draw. There's DAB as well as Classic FM. It's just a shame the display is a bit dim and uninspired. Still, the dock packs a remote, it's a breeze to set up and ticks plenty of boxes, as well as sounding rich, crisp and clear, without lacking bass. VQ Retro MK2. Add a little sunshine to your mornings with this brilliantly colored radio alarm dock. Its leatherette detailing surrounds a pair of classic retro cream white grills, a clear OLED display and responsive function buttons, which include DAB, DAB Plus and FM radio, dual alarms and snooze. A closer look reveals a wooden inner chassis which does wonders for the audio reproduction and offers a wide, surprisingly expansive range, crisp and loud, without tinniness or boom. Available in a wide range of colors all of which come with an auxiliary out to connect any other devices you have, the VQ looks ace on any bedside cabinet, whatever your wallpaper choice. Bowers & Wilkins Z2 The Bowers & Wilkins Z2 is one of the last audio fan iPhone docks you can still buy. But you'd better be quick as nowadays you'll only find it, recertified, or, refurbished. These aren't being made anymore. The rounded glass reinforced compact enclosure of this space AG dock offers plenty of bass, a decent sound stage and good dispersion around any medium-sized room. Once you've linked your device, the Z2 performs admirably, with DSP that keeps distortion to an absolute minimum regardless of how high you crank up the volume. Jar Aero Bull HD Let's finish off with something a little mad. The Jar Aero Bull HD is one of the most recent, and probably one of the last, dedicated lightning speaker docks. It's shaped like a sunglasses wearing French bulldog and, at 10 kilograms and over half a meter tall, it's larger and heavier than the real thing too. The lightning port sits on top of the little guy's head, making sense of the Aero Bull HD's height. And by his backside you get a 3.5mm O socket. 
This isn't a high-tech multi-room Wi-Fi speaker, it just uses Bluetooth and the dock. However, that's not really the idea. This is as much lounge furniture as an iPhone dock, and it has the price to match. The Jar Aero Bull HD has a 2.1 driver array, with small units in the dog's glasses and a subwoofer to the rear. Don't expect sound to match the high price if you're an unapologetic audiophile, but at this point this is one of the best sounding lightning docks you can get.